Hi, I'm Ali Pajon. Welcome to my home, specifically the kitchen. I will be happy to give you a kitchen tour today of my current situation. Let me just disclose, this is not going to be a perfect kitchen tour. Not everything is organized inside my cupboards. Not everything is the way I want it to be, but that's why I'm making this video currently is because I want to see the base of what I'm working with and how I can go from there. If your kitchen is not perfect like mine, I hope it's encouraging in a way. I love watching like kitchen remodels and kitchen organization and it's so cool to see the kitchen go from one place to another in one just under 20 minute video and I think those are super motivational but I also feel like they could be discouraging because if you feel like you have a lot of things that you could do to improve in your home but you can't put it all together as quickly as it looks like in the video sometimes it can just feel overwhelming so I hope this provides like almost a comforting realistic version of a kitchen that I do like where it's at currently and there have been a lot of changes to it since I moved in with my husband but it's far from perfect. There's a lot that could be done. I'm not going to be able to show it from going to point A to point Z in one video. It's just not realistic for me with my current resources, money, energy, and time, but I do definitely want to improve my kitchen. So it's probably going to happen over the course of several videos and you'll get to see the change that's gradual over time. And that's what change really looks like in our real lives. Like it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen as perfectly and quickly as we see in YouTube videos. It takes a lot of time and that's okay. So I hope if there's one thing that you get from this, if there's a lot of things that you wanna do in your life and you feel overwhelmed by it, totally understandable. Just take an inventory of where you're at right now. What do you have to work with right now and then from there you can kind of see where you want to go this is the starting ground this is the base all right let's see the kitchen hi this is the first side of my kitchen it's kind of shaped like an l so this is the little part of the l here we got the kitchen sink and then we got this small little counter area where i have a lamp a candle, a little ceramic, and I put my rings on it when I'm washing the dishes sometimes. So that'll go there. The candle is definitely for the vibes, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to just have like a nice cooking time or a cleaning time in the kitchen. I'll light that candle. It's my favorite one from Target. And then this little thing here is for napkins. And I have some eucalyptus on it because I think it just looks pretty and that's where that goes. So I try to keep my counters as clear and clean as possible. And not a lot of cooking happens on this side. So this is more of the cozy comfort corner. Right underneath we have the dishwasher and usually it has dishes in it as I use my dishwasher like a drying rack. If you grew up in an Asian household, you might relate to this, but 99% of the time there's dishes in here that I put in from hand washing and it's so handy to have a really big drying rack here. I love it. All right, next we have the sink here. It's a very simple stainless steel sink and I have my polar bear here probably one of the favorite items in my kitchen and then I just have a little hand towel that I ugh, he kind of falls often but he does have suction cups on the inside and it's supposed to stick and sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't he is pretty easily knocked over ugh, okay there we go. But he's really high functional. I really like him. I don't know if it's just this style of sink, and I think it is the style of the sink. If I'm washing the dishes here, for sure the water is gonna get on my shirt or whatever I'm wearing. I don't know why it just doesn't stay in the sink. Maybe because it's more shallow, but this came in so clutch because it definitely does keep me from getting splashed. It's a splash guard. And He's so cute, look at his little tail. He doesn't have a name, I just call him my polar bear. It was hard to wash the dishes with like 
a little bit of a gap between me and the sink. It hurt my back, so I had to press up against the counter. And I feel like I'm talking too much about the splash guard, so I'm gonna move on. This is my favorite dishwashing scrub. I love the holes. If you've seen my bathroom video, I don't like things that look like it can just collect bacteria and mold like a sponge can. So I really like this. I got them in like a big pack of 12, 15. And when it gets kind of nasty, just throw it out and then I have another one, but I leave it hanging over to dry it. We got Dawn dish soap right here. This is for cleaning our cast iron and it's very effective. It's just chain mail, I think. And then this is a homemade cleaner that I use. I put hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, and water. And it's just a great multi-purpose cleaner. And then of course a little rag on top. I really care about functionality with everything in my home and ease of access, especially when it comes to cleaning because if it's tucked away in some upper top cabinet that I can't access easily, I'm not going to want to use it. Or if it's hard to reach in and grab it, I'm not going to want to use it because then I know I have to put it away and it's difficult to put back away. So ease of access is very important. Having a cleaner right by the sink works really well for me. This is an additional over the sink kind of dish rack, but I also use it to extend the counter space if I'm cooking like a big thing in this corner. So this is nice. I don't use it too often though. And of course I have an air fryer. I love this one. It's by Kasori. I got my knife set right there. I was initially going to put my knives inside a drawer. I like that. I feel like it safe in that way, but it fit really nice in the corner here. So we decided to keep it there. And that's it for the side counter wise. I will take you underneath in the cabinets as well. So let me just adjust. Hello, it's time to get more real because these drawers are a disaster, most of them. Okay, bottom drawer doesn't even come out that well, but that's okay. We got a whole bunch of random crap in here. It's, um, here are those dish washing nets that I was talking about earlier. They came in a pack of 12. And I have a bunch of extra random handy things in here. Like these are adhesive pads. This is a tube. We got some light bulbs in here. This is a cord organizer. So I have things that are extras in this drawer, but it's just not organized whatsoever and all crammed in together and that's the situation here so this is something that could be improved upon i think the next door is very similar not as much stuff in this one it looks like we have aluminum foil that i don't use that often because i have silicone um, containers that i can bake with or i just use like a pyrex and glass but yeah i have a whatever this is random tools, a tape measure. I'm pretty sure these are zip ties, cable ties. Excellent, good to have. This is a whole bunch of screws and nuts and bolts. Yeah, here's another one that needs help. This one, not the best, but not the worst. We have more kitchen related stuff in here. There is freezer bags, Ziploc bags, these are the silicone things I was talking about. So I'll bake these in the oven or in the air fryer and they work just fine. I can wash them. Um, I like them more, they're more reusable than foil. So use that. And then I have some extra silicone bags. I have a grater, a rolling pin, measuring cups. So I would say this drawer is more for second tier kitchen items, but not the main ones that I use which would be in the first drawer or on the counter. The first drawer does look nice. This one, sorry about that. This one is my utensil drawer and I do have this one pretty nicely organized. I just put a bamboo organizer in there. I bought my utensils from Amazon and it works out really nicely. I think just having uniform utensils all a part of the same brand and the cooking utensils as well, they're all black silicone. It allows the drawer to look less chaotic and more cohesive because there's less different kinds of brands or styles of equipment in there. So 
it helps simplify the overall look. And then I do have scissors in here because it's very handy to have in the kitchen. Again, what we're talking about is easy access. Underneath the sink here, we got my kitchen cleaning supplies, my laundry supplies. We actually don't have an in-unit washer or dryer, which kind of sucks a little bit, but we've made do by having a portable washer. So I do my laundry literally right here. I use the sink water and that hose that you saw earlier, and I'll feed it into a portable washer. We have detergent, trash bags, Raid on this side vinegar, hand soap, dish soap. There's a cleaning bucket there that's also not organized. So this one's kind of a mess, as you can see. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It's just kind of shoved in there. At least this section does have a general brand. It's cleaning supplies and laundry. Let me cover this little area. It's on the side of my fridge. So I got my vacuum. I have an apron hanging right here and I have a mop. So this is an additional part of my cleaning section, and here's an umbrella. I use these cool little hook things that I got from Amazon. They're adhesive, which makes them really apartment friendly. And if you have anything like a stick that you want to kind of attach to the wall, you just push it in and it stays. Really effective, really nice way to store things. There's also a charger here from the fridge. So I use the same charging section to charge my vacuum. It's a really good place for everything. And I feel like because it's all up against the fridge in this little section, it works really well. Underneath the mop is also a mop bucket. So if the mop is wet, it'll just drip into the bucket and it's perfect. So it's all right there. Next up, we have the long part of the L. So this section. There's the stove that's right here, and usually there's a cast iron on it that's dirty, and then we'll wash it just right before we use it. And this one is a coil stove, not my favorite. I wish it was like an actual fire. I like those better than this kind, but the apartment had it, so we kind of had to work with what we got. We got a microwave. It's just a very basic microwave, but inside of it is our microwave cover, which nicely fits on top. There's like a little divot that it slides into. So really nice, easy storage for it and very convenient. On the counter here, we have two cutting boards. I really like them. They're known to be gentler on knives. I'm not sure what type of material they're made out of, but I will link them and I'll have them here. We have my oils. I have vegetable oil. I believe this is olive oil, soy sauce, and sesame oil. I use everything here really frequently. So it's really nice to have them right next to the stove. I don't believe anything is up here in this top cupboard above the microwave. No, there's nothing probably because I couldn't reach it. On this counter, other side of the stove, we have our kettle, and then that's Tristan's French press coffee machine. So Tristan uses both those things every single day. He really likes coffee and tea. I don't like it that much, but they felt a little weird to me sitting on the counter. So I had the idea to elevate them and put them on the little cutting board together. I just feel like, ah, they're supposed to be there instead of just two odd random things sitting on the counter but this is a great place for them because the outlet is right there one last thing on the counter that i wanted to show you guys was this rice dispenser i love it so much it's so easy essentially there's a little rice cup right here and then you press the button and it dispenses into the cup which you can then pour into the pot and then wash the rice and i like this because it has a huge capacity up to about 25 pounds of rice and that's a lot. So I love that it's all here. I was thinking of what kind of rice dispenser would work and I just feel like everything else I found was too small. It wouldn't hold the amount of rice. We need at least 15 pounds of storage for the bag of rice. And this one is amazing. It does the trick, it works really well. Okay, that's it for all the counter space. Now to show you the upper cupboards, the bottom cupboards, I'll give you a quick little shot of the pantry. The fridge doesn't look very different from my fridge organizational video, but the freezer, I'll just show you that really quick. It's a mess. Oh, something just fell out. Okay guys, here's the freezer. I just crammed everything in it. We got some ice packs on the side here and uh, some ravioli that's probably bad, so I should throw that out. I do just wanna share, there's been more additions to our fridge pictures. My little sister made these for me. 
Isn't she adorable? She's a good colorer. And then we have these wax seal Game of Thrones magnets that I really, really like. I got them from Etsy. So we got all the major houses on here, but just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Upper cupboards. So on this side, we have drinks. Stay. <laughs> we have drinks. We got some mugs right here. I don't really care if mugs are all pretty. It's okay if they're mismatched. I think it kind of it's cute to have each mug have a story. There's a little tea section right here. Um, I got these dividers from Daiso and then we stick the tea in there. And then here we have straws. These are more drink related stuff like pre-workout, green powder, coffee powder, stuff like that. And then at the very top is more supplements, a big dispenser and more random cups. As it goes up, it's less organized, but the bottom level is pretty good. We got more glassware here for drinks. I got several chalices because I like to be fancy. And then these woven baskets have a handle, which I thought was so cool. I found them at Daiso and they fit perfectly within the cupboard space. They carry more things like medicine. So we got Pepto-Bismol, Emergency, Advil, a first aid kit, Band-Aids, health related stuff. At the very top, again, there's more water bottles. We have some blenders for smoothies or frappuccinos, matcha frappuccinos, and a random food scale that my husband bought but never uses. Oh, it's a fly, get out of here. All right, here we go. On this side, we have plates, bowls, the essentials. I do have this nice three tier organizer thing that I think works really well and takes advantage of the middle space between the two cabinets. And yeah, we got some little sauce containers here. Second level is all of our Tupperwares. I found the best way to store our Tupperwares is just to have them set up and with the lids on and then just stack them. I know some people have the lids organized separately from the Tupperware body, but I like having them together and just stacked. That works well for us. And the very top is very random stuff again. So it's kind of funny. If you look at my kitchen from like middle going out, the middle section is organized. So the counters, the lower level cabinets or the upper level drawers those ones look pretty good and then as you go higher or lower i don't really know what that stuff is yeah it's very random stuff that i just kind of threw up there and down there but i would like to have them organized and i think the important thing with organization is you know what you have and if you know what you have you know what you don't need so I don't want to hoard stuff that I don't even know about. But it's easy to if you don't even know that it exists and you just throw it up somewhere. So that's what that top area is. There's a cast iron gift. There is a lunch baggie. There's a random Korean American cookbook that my mom got for me, which was very sweet. But I do look up most of my recipes on the internet. So I don't know if I'll use it on this side. We have bigger mixing bowls on the lower shelf. I do use those very often. Second level is more baked goods, but I don't like the way it's currently set up. I do have some really nice glass containers with bamboo lids. These are so pretty, but just the way it's currently set up, it's not the best. It could be better. So this second baking shelf could use some work. And then the top tier shelf, we have extra water filters, extra containers, and it looks like a random vase. Pantry, real quick. So top shelf, we have more dry, canned, packaged sort of items. This little organizer here, it kind of creates a second shelf, which I really like. There's some onions and pasta sauce. This level, the second level, is our noodle level. So we got shin ramen. Usually we have indomie here, but it's not stocked. And then these are just generic other pastas like shells. My favorite pasta shape is selentani. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll put a picture of it here. And then we, of course we have some mac and cheese on the side. So the second level is all pasta and then Next level, we have popcorn, chips, snacks, that sort of thing. Bottom level, we have some random extra sodas and soy sauce. And then the very bottom tier, we have some party supplies like extra 
napkins, utensils, and more sodas. So that is our pantry. It is not beautiful whatsoever. The shelves are really deep, so having these sort of drawers are handy and helpful. But I only really have our pasta shelf looking good and not well stocked, but organized. Yeah, everything else is a little it's a little rough, but you know what? I'll create a game plan and we'll work on it. But this is the pantry. Not a lot of food in here, but we're only two people, so we don't need a lot of food. And that's the thing, it's okay to have blank or empty space. I would rather have empty space or just nothing on the shelf than random things that I don't need. So I will do a clean out soon to get rid of stuff that we don't even use. With the fridge right above it, I have a basket for plastic bags, I would just like to mention. And then next to it is Tristan's electric fly swatter. He really likes that thing. Last little section of the kitchen, we have these two drawers and these two cabinet sections. I do want to quickly mention though that I have a ladder and a trash can right here. It's technically more in our office area, if you will, but I consider them part of the kitchen. So a step ladder because I'm short and it's good to have. And then this is a stainless steel step on the foot pedal type of trash can. Works really well. I think it's 13 liter capacity and I really like it. It's by Glad. Now onto these two drawers right here. This one, this one's not too shabby actually. This one has towels in it. I also have a bunch of clips in here. I have oven mitts and then I have extra disposable utensils. So that's this drawer. This drawer, <gasps> this drawer I'm proud of. This one is my spice drawer. It has all our spices, self-explanatory. So the first two rows look really nice. The back section is, you can't really see it if you don't pull the drawer all the way out, but the back section just basically has extra of the spices that won't fit into the little containers. But this one, I'm pretty happy with. I guess I could do something about the back section, but honestly, it works just fine and I don't really care about it. So very last cupboard, we have colander, pots, and pans. So I've been trying <laughs> to organize this section in many ways and nothing has really worked. I feel like it's because of the depth of the cupboards and the fact that the height is really short. So it's hard to find an organizer that works for them. There's two levels, so there's the top level and then the bottom level. I tried using the back of the door to put these ad adhesive pot lid holders on here and they just kept falling off so they didn't work that well so they're all just kind of crammed in here on the top shelf and then on the other side are more pots and pans but the good thing that i mentioned is they're all pretty much by the same brand green pan it's healthy ceramic i really like these i kind of have a system currently where the pans are on the top shelf and the pots are on the bottom and then the lids are over here and then the colanders on the bottom with the rice pot so there's a system it just doesn't look pretty and i feel like there's a better way that i could have something in there where i like insert it and it stays and it looks nice. I could clear up more room on the actual shelf if they were organized nicely, but instead they're just all in there. If you have any suggestions for how to organize pots and pans in an area like this, please do let me know because I've tried things and they haven't worked. So I am open to suggestions. Oh, I forgot. One last area right underneath the stove. All right, you guys, here we are. I'm pretty sure most ovens have this sort of setup. There's the oven and then there's a drawer underneath. So this drawer is the last area in my kitchen and it has Pyrex baking ware. I have a big one, a medium one, and a little one. I also have the silicone red baking pan that I don't use. And then I have this really pretty ceramic. What are these called? I have this, whatever this is called. I'm afraid I don't know. And then I have a cupcake thing on the very bottom. So this is where baking ware goes. As you can tell, I don't use it that often, but I do have a place for it. So that's nice. 
All right, my friends, that is the end. Thank you for coming over to my home and coming to see my kitchen. I hope it was fun to see where it's at right now. And if you subscribe and stick around, you'll see how it will improve over time. A lot of things in here are just really simple and functional and work well for me and my family. So I'm very grateful to be in this home and to have this kitchen. And I'm excited to develop the areas that could use a little bit more help. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you.